Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here once again. In the movie Meet the Robinsons, the classic tale of a young budding engineer trying to find his way in the world, even when our protagonist, Lewis, fails catastrophically trying to impress a family with his latest invention, he's told by them, in fact quite boldly and regally as a matter of fact, to keep moving forward. Now, if Lewis, from standing still in his mopey sad state, does in fact decide to move forward, well that's acceleration. Any change in velocity or direction. And of course, like everything in the world, we want to be able to measure that, to quantify it. And that's done with an accelerometer. The first commercial accelerometer was made available in 1943, and it used Rochelle salt crystal for its sensor. A man, we have come a long way in the last 79 years, and that journey has led us to this. Introducing the new SparkFun Triple Access Accelerometer, available in two formats, either our standard one inch by one inch board, or our new super small micro board. This board uses the BMA400 from Bosch SensorTech. This ultra low power chip can run off of a supply voltage range from 1.72 to 3.6 volts with a current consumption of less than 14.5 microamps at the highest performance settings. It offers selectable acceleration ranges of plus or minus 2, 4, 8, and 16G and has an output data rate range of 12.5 to 800 hertz in normal mode and 25 hertz in low power mode. Additionally, there are half a dozen on-chip interrupt features auto low power or auto wake up, step counter, activity recognition such as walking, running, or standing still, motion detection, orientation detection, and tap or double tap. Now the standard quick breakout board has a pair of horizontal quick connectors as well as the pins broken out at 0.1 inch spacing for breadboarding. The micro breakout has but a single horizontal quick connector. The BMA400 is being called the first real ultra low power acceleration sensor. And it can do a bunch of amazing things. And guess what? I have a special guest to help show you some of those things, or at least one or two. Uh, Drew is one of our amazing engineers here at SparkFun, and he put together a little demo. Let's take a look at what he's got. I have made this little smartwatch here. I was trying to find ways to demonstrate the utility of the BMA400, and the interrupt features really inspired me uh, to create this smartwatch. And it's actually, the BMA400 is actually advertised as a wearable device. And so I thought it was a perfect application. There, the features that I'm using here is actually orientation detection. And so you can see the screen is on when I have it facing myself, but then when I turn it away, it turns off. On the top here, I have the quick OLED that is being used to display the input, but it obviously it's not a touch screen. However, if I tap on it, the screen actually does change. That is not touch detection, that is just purely vibration measured by the BMA400. And the uh, SAMD21 processor I have on here is not actually measuring any of the acceleration, it is just using the interrupt feature. One of the other fun features of the BMA400 is the step counting. If I start running along, having a good day in my work, and you know, going all around the office, then the step counting actually activates, and I can see so far, I just took 21 steps right there. Nice. The other great feature of this is I can actually tell what kind of activity I'm doing, whether I'm walking, running, or standing still. And on the screen here, you can see it says I'm currently walking, or I was walking. I, yes, that's the word. <laughs> and because of the ultra low power of the BMA400, I'm able to get days of battery life out of this without having to charge it. So cool. Thanks, Drew. Amazing as always. I'm sure we'll see you again soon with the next cool thing you come up with. Yeah, I would love to. Great. I appreciate it. Thanks, yeah, man. Thank you. So there you go. Ultra low power accelerometer, two footprint options, either our one inch by one inch breakout or our tiny, tiny, tiny micro breakout. So if you're interested or intrigued by any of this, head over to sparkfun.com and pick up your own SparkFun Triple Access Accelerometer Breakout. And until then, of course, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. And because of the super low, ultra low, whatever. <laughs> Is that a technical term? I don't know. And the last great thing is that because it's such low power, this watch will last days on end without me ever having to charge it. Bump. <laughs> Amazing. Who put this table here? <laughs> it wasn't there when we started, I swear. And because of the super low ultra, doesn't, I don't think it matters, but I'm bothered it by it. <laughs>